Steve and I first met, uh, it was my junior year at Mount Union. I wanted to try out the event coordinating extracurricular activity called RPB that they offered. And uh, Steve was already a part of the group um, and he had been for four years. I somehow always got paired with Steve for his events that he was in charge of planning. So we got to hang out a lot and we just became good friends and uh, the rest is history. The proposal, okay. So as the, uh, the analytical thinking one, I had this very like elaborate thing planned out for months ahead. And you know, we just said, hey, let's go you know, check out what the city looks like, woke up the incline and everything. And as we were getting ready to take pictures, there was this like one overlook area. And um, I told Kaylee, when we go up take these pictures, I'm gonna get down and propose. So have the cameras ready. We went up there, I was ready for the picture, got down on one knee. Um, but Kinsey said yes, and she was jumping around with excitement. She had no idea that her mom and her sister on Skype and all of her friends were waiting at the restaurant for afterwards. So she, I think she was ready for the proposal itself, and she really expected that, but she just had no idea. So she was like tearing up. And I think she was more excited about that part, about having everyone there than the actual proposal. Oh my goodness. There's so many things that I love about Steve. He keeps me grounded. He's like the realistic one, and I'm like not the realistic one, so he keeps me grounded, which is good. His sense of humor, he is probably the funniest person I know, and he can always make me laugh. Um, he's super smart. He, don't tell him I said this, but he's definitely smarter than me, but I won't ever let him believe that. Oh man, this feels like a lot of pressure. Um, I do have a message for Kinsey before we get married. And it is in a secret note that I wrote her that she's gonna read while she's getting ready that one of her bridesmaids is gonna to take to her. So there's a super secret note and I have super secret things. So hopefully uh, hopefully she'll, she'll read that and it'll go well. <laughs> he has the best handwriting of anybody I know. However, besides that, I guess my message would just be that I, Kinsey, I am incredibly excited to marry you. Um, I just, I just can't see my life continuing without you. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just very excited. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Mark Roston. Uh, I cannot claim to be best, but I am a longtime friend of Steve. It takes a certain kind of person to keep up with him. Whether it's someone who can appreciate his romanticism, or someone who can leap headfirst into all the things that he just excitedly jumps into, whether it's a rock, paper, scissors contest, whether it's a mock conclave. But also it takes someone willing to keep him in check. And for that, I'm so glad that he's found Kinsey. I'm so glad that you have found each other and are here today, and I wish you all the best. Kinsey and I met our senior year of college at Mount Union, surviving mill crawl, becoming boomerang roommates after college, and maybe the most important event until now, cultivating the perfect responses to Steve's texts. Steve, you didn't know this until now, but you were actually dating both of us for the first several text exchanges. <laughs> and now your wedding day. A wise woman once said to date a man with many layers. Steve is just that. He is open-minded, intelligent, and has the best sense of humor. But above all, he adores Kinsey and treats her like the queen that she is. I've 
known this day was coming for quite a while, as I was one of the first to know that Steve was going to propose. The first. Okay, the first. I'm sorry. And since he asked me first, sorry, Mom. <laughs> of course I said yes, because they make a great couple. They're both smart and ambitious young people, and they encourage each other to grow. For example, they teach each other. Kinsey is learning football, and Steve is learning that a lawnmower is not really a proper tractor. <laughs> I was honored that he asked my permission as I wouldn't have said yes to just anyone, as I love my sister dearly and I want all the best things in life for her. I have a collection of t-shirts. My kids know about this. What's it say, Kinsey? Life is good. <laughs> it says life is good. <laughs> and I started thinking about that in relationship to today. You know, life we know is gonna hold many moments of ups and moments of down. We know that. But ultimately, just plain life is good. Could we wish any more than that for anybody? Let alone this couple. Just life is good. Love is precious and life is good. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I love you both so much. Hi, Kinsey and Steve. Congratulations. I love you guys so much. And here's Erica. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Didn't see you there. But really, you guys couldn't have found a perfect match um, in each other. It, you feel it in your heart. <laughs> We're done. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Stephen Kinsey, congratulations. I'm so glad to be a part of your most special day. I wish you at least 75 years of happiness, if not more. Stephen Kinsey, and I mean this with all sincerity, there is no two people better for each other than you two. Heard Steve, that. Kinsey, I'd like to first say that that ceremony is beautiful, and nothing else encapsulates your love for one another like that was today. And you can just see by the look in your guys' eyes how happy you guys are, and we wish the best of marriage for all you guys. So, hey guys, um, everything is beautiful. I'm looking over all these people, and it's filled with nothing but love and happiness. Times aren't always going to be easy, but you both love each other enough that you're going to make it through. So, happy marriage. Love you both. Hi, Kinsey. It's Tad House D. We love you, and we're so happy for you. And this is for you. <laughs> In case you can't hear it, it's Miley Cyrus. We can't stop, and we're just being really awkward. <laughs> Pop up into frame? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Hi, I'm Kinsey and Steve. <laughs> I am so happy for both of you. You're such beautiful spirits, and I'm so glad you found each other. How crazy is that? And you're married now, oh my god. You're old, like me. <laughs> lots of love, lots of happiness. In Greek, they say stiniamis. So stiniamis. Cheers to you. <laughs> On the 4th of July, the sky with the waves crashing on the coast and through the sea. 